thing that Shannon's new manager cannot be suspected of is being a New York cop. Aren't you Shannon Porter, man? We've inundated our pirate market with your records. We want something new, something big. The company is backed by racketeers. They're involved in all kinds of corruption, payola piracy. All I want is your boss. Now, what's his name? McCloud! of the week. I sent the memo down myself. Well, I guess Bucko didn't get it. You know where Joe is? I got two tickets to the ball game. Got an extra one. Um, he's on a special assignment at the Trade Center. Trade Center. Thank you. Who are you calling? Joe. Thought maybe he'd get off early enough to go with me. No! I mean, no, he won't. Uh, he's on duty for the rest of the night. Where's Grover? Um, he's in Brooklyn, uh, checking out a suspect. Well, maybe Sims can go with me. I don't think so. He's guarding a witness somewhere. Huh. Polk? I guess he's off to the Ozarks or someplace. Ozarks? Oh, <laughs> Cloud, that's funny. <laughs> but you're not too far off. Jersey. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I tell you, manpower around here is just getting thinner in a barren wintertime. Like baseball? Mm hmm Can't fish hunters pitching. I'd love to. Oh, but I can't. Why not? Somebody's got to mind the stool. Well, I'm not going to go by myself. Security is the key. This is a $300 million racket, maybe more. It crosses federal, State, city lines. Now, that's why the commissioner has asked me to handpick you men to work with the Treasury Department. Mr. Lund? By now, all of you know we're talking about record piracy, payola in the music industry. 
Now, you men have your connections out on the street. We have ours throughout the state and across the country. So far, though, we've only been able to knock over a couple of mom and pop operations. What we're hoping is that by working together, we can nail the big operators. Now, we don't know that this is a big operation. But Broadhurst came up with some top information from one of his informants. Pirates are pressing this new album. You set the date. Thank you. You just don't give up, do you? Frankly, I nearly did until I heard the new song Tommy wrote for Shannon. I know you're just going to dig it. Well, it won't really make any difference. The contract's up with Howard Records. You don't really think I'd let her sign with J&T, do you? Why not? Well, I guess life's just a little too short to keep looking over my shoulder and never in the mirror. <laughs> Something, Maggie. I can't. I mean, what could I possibly tell you? What's going on? On? What makes you think something's going on? You know, Maggie, you're just about the worst liar since Delilah told Samson that his hair was sapping his strength. Look, McLeod, if I was lying, I was only lying because I was under orders. Maggie, I can understand that. But you know, I'm not a wolf in the barnyard. Now, if Chief cleared this place out, it's because that he was short-handed, which brings up the distinct possibility that I might be of some help to him. Hmm? You need something, fella? Uh, uh, it's, uh Sergeant Broadhurst here. Oh, well, maybe I could help What? You. No, he said he was going to be here. i got to see him right away. Now, he, he told me... Things. You may not make it out. He told me he was going to be here, and i got to see him right now. Now, let's just Joe settle down going to be here. Take it easy. Calm down. You know, Sergeant Broadhurst is my best friend, you know that? I mean, we got no secrets between us at all. Anything that you can tell him, well, you can tell me. Just say it right out. I... What? Can you get a hold of him fast? Did Joe and the rest of them go with the chief? McCloud, I can't. You might have to. But I'm under orders. Maggie, this could be an emergency. But if I call the commissioner's office, Chief Clifford's got... Oh, he's gonna kill me. Appreciate it. Now, what do you want to talk to Joe about, fella? It's about the raid tonight. The raid? Hmm? On the pirate factory. Pirate factory? Pirate factory, right here. And we hit it from both sides. Lund, Broadhurst, Sims, front. Me, Grover, Polk, right here, and back. Any questions? What time do we go in? The night, 10 o'clock. Until then. And I can't emphasize this strongly enough, gentlemen. Not a sound to anyone. We don't want any leaks. Well, you don't have to worry about this squad, Lund. No one outside this room could possibly know anything about this meeting or the raid tonight. You have my assurance on that. 
Yes. Chief Clifford, I'm sorry to bother you, but there's a man out here who insists upon seeing you. I thought you said no one knew we were here. They don't. They didn't. What man? What did you say your name was again? McLeod. Marshal Sam McLeod. McLeod? Does he know you, Mr. McLeod? Well, of course he knows me. Hey, Chief, can you hear me in there all right? I can hear you all right. Well, there's something that we all got to talk over right away. Oh? Well, Joe Sims, Pope, and Grover are still in there with you, ain't they? Come in, McLeod. Chief, I'm glad that I was lucky enough to still find you. Hold it, McLeod. I've got... Before I hear anything, I want to know which one of these men told you we were meeting here. Not me. I didn't. Well, who was it? Well, none of them. That's not important now anyway. Not... All right, McLeod, what is important? Tonight's raid. You mean you know about the raid tonight? Yeah. Just to be quite honest with you, I think we're trusting up a pig here that ain't gonna get roasted. Huh? These plans here, they're not worth the, the lead that it took to draw them. I drew those plans, McLeod. Well, there's no offense there, Chief. But them pirates ain't no closer to here than Taos is to Albuquerque. Wait a minute, what has New Mexico got to do with this? How do you know that? Well, Benny told me. Came into headquarters looking for you, Joe. He said he found out the damn pirates is using a different place entirely. I didn't want you to go off on no snipe hunt, Chief. Benny Jones? Yeah. Did he tell you where they were setting up? Yeah, and I think it's going to be just a little bit complicated for us to break in there. Us? But I looked the area over on the way by, and I think that I got it all figured out, Chief. The seven of us. We could clear that place out faster than a bull loose at a hole down. Let's go. the key. Well, I hope it traces back to the right lock. I don't know. This doesn't look like the big company that we're after. You wander around on your own little cloud when you don't see the why or the wherefore. You walk out on me Ah, uh, Mrs. Wright. I was in the neighborhood. I hope you don't mind. Of course not. I hope I didn't misread these playlists. It looks like our... your artists aren't getting too many plays. I'm working on it. There are a couple of albums that are starting to move big. They should be winners. Should? You were very positive in the beginning when we bought up those contracts with the groups that you wanted. Their records just didn't do as well as I'd hoped. Well, now, what about the sure thing you promised us? Shannon Forbes? Six straight hits. 
And no reason why a seventh, eighth, or ninth shouldn't follow for some company. I'm working on that, too. Oh, another possibility. All right, Jessica. What's the problem? Now, you said she likes Tommy. Her manager's nervous about some of my associates. Oh, Jessica, this is 1975. Now, Donnell knows the score. He's the old-fashioned type, believes in something called integrity. Jessica, it'll look good on the label. See to it that she signs. I can't force her. Don't. Just remove the objections. Now, what's Donnell's price? You haven't got enough money. I know he's got a hang-up. You find it. I already did. Date nut bread and raw milk. This is right. The whip is being snapped. Now you hustle on all fronts. Shannon Forbes, Mike Parker, or anybody else that'll keep our registers ringing. Mr. Gregory, I'll need some more operating money. Losing costs as much as winning, doesn't it? Can I press some more pirates? All right. You run an extra 100,000 this weekend, and I'll have a truck come by on Sunday. Oh, Mrs. Wright. Make sure you spend the money well. We don't want to end up selling more records under the table than we do over it. Do we? to use me, Mrs. Wright? Well, that's up to Tommy. He handles the talent. <laughs> Marlene, with the right record, you're going to the top non-stop. That's why we keep in close contact with all the DJs, like uh, Mike Parker. Mike Parker? Do you know him? No, but I'd sure like to. Well, for heaven's sakes, we're going over there right now. Why don't you come along with us? Really? Forget yeah. it. Freshen up. We'll wait. Go ahead, darling. What are you trying to do? Keep us in the record business. We can do it without using the girl. Believe me, love, we need all the help we can get. Jesse, Gregory was just here. Jesse, we formed JT to be independent, do the songs we wanted the way we wanted with no outside interference. Now look at us. Tommy, where do you see outside interference? So we take a suggestion here and there from our financiers. Where does that hurt us? JT is one of the biggest, and you still call every creative shot. And darling, don't worry. Mike Parker gets bored easily. He'll throw it back to you before you know it. Ready. Find anything? No. That was just another mom and pop operation. But they had the cover. They were just bad forgeries. They had nothing to do with J&T or any of the other majors. You have said that the record companies steal from themselves. Is that right? Yeah, but it's just about impossible to prove. Well, I don't understand that. I don't know why they would steal from themselves. They're going to get the money sooner or later anyway. Let me explain, gentlemen. There's two kinds of money in this case. Let's say that uh, one of the majors, like J&T, has a couple of big albums they want to push. The fastest way is through airplay, disc jockeys. Now, some of the jocks are on the take. Both hands open wide. Well, the companies fill those hands with money, dope, women, whatever it takes. Now, to handle the payoff, they press a couple of thousand extra albums, dump them off on the pirates, and that way they get the unaccounted for cash they need. Full circle. No books, no taxes, no nothing. Except that the artists and the legitimate dealers left out of that circle. Now, our job is to break through. We're working on that. 
The department has a minor narcotics rap on one of the top DJs in town. I have him pretty close to cooperating. Good. How can we help? Uh, I have an appointment with him this afternoon. Why don't you have a couple of your men out back? I'll make the introduction, and then he'll have some local contacts. Top jock, huh? Who is he? Supermouth, Mike Parker here, WPVO. You're number one, that's why I'm number one. Laying back the baddest and meanest sounds around. There ain't nobody else around, so you gotta stay with me. We're here until nine o'clock. All right, Shannon Forbes, she's the lady, she's the queen. She should be heard. Let that voice be heard like a clarion call. She's gonna talk to us. Mm hmm yeah, baby. I hear you. I know what you're saying. You're talking to me. Talk to me. I'm not happy. <laughs> Mike, you look terrible. Jessica, what are you doing here? Trying to make a living. Come on, baby, don't hassle me now. I'm in pain, you understand, in pain. Oh, Mike, you haven't been doing right by me at all. You're playing everybody's songs but mine. Don't get heavy with me now. I am really hurting, you understand, hurting. Poor baby. All pressure. And who knows about his tensions better than me? Who's always there if he needs me? For anything. Who's never said no to anything he needed? Like now. Is that good? <laughs> is it any good? Rich is a gold mine. Take two, they're small. Go on, baby, it'll help you. Yeah, well, I'll do what I can for you, Jessica, okay? Make that a promise. I have something special. What? Oh, yeah. <laughs> and what do you do? Sing like a lark. Yeah, well, I always like helping new talent. <laughs> Didn't I tell you, Marlene? He's a wonderful person. I'm a wonderful person. You come on over here. <laughs> Hey, baby. Listen, you sit there. I'll be through in a little while, but I gotta get the job done, you dig? <laughs> yeah, Shannon Forbes. Now, you talk about new talent. That's new talent. And you know, and I know, that Supermouth Mike Parker likes helping new talent, you dig? <laughs> Been over half an hour since Blund went in. I guess Parker needed some extra convincing. Maybe we ought to take a look. Yeah, maybe, but we're not going to. This is Lund's scenario, and he said to wait. You didn't like it, I can tell. No, I was fine, just fine. Well, what's wrong then? Now, what makes you think something's wrong? The bulldog jaw, the frown. Should I go on or is that enough? 
bulldog jaw, huh? <laughs> you know the old man pretty well by now, don't you? I love the old man. Now, what's wrong? It's those vultures up there. Those vultures just happen to be the two most important people in the industry. Well, now, that just depends on how you look at it. Not cross-eyed the way you do. Meaning what? Why should we cut off our options? We're going to sign with a new company anyway. Well, we're not with J&T Records, we're not. Well, now, I think you're being pretty silly. Tommy and I can come up with some really good stuff together. I know it. Shannon, we have never had a contract. You decide not to listen to me, and I mean this sincerely. You're free to go out and find yourself somebody else anytime you want. All I want to know is why. Oh, look, sweetheart, I know Tommy's good. He's, he's very good. And, and, and Jessica is a promotional genius. But this is dirty money. They are gangsters. Gangsters? In the old days, they'd have had their noses pushed in like this, and they'd have been talking a lot of these damn and does. Wow. Honey, listen to me. We have done real good clean. Let's don't start slopping around in a pigsty. I mean, we don't need that, do we? Hmm? I agree. That's my girl. What would I do without you? Well, I hope you never find out, because nobody else would give me a job. problem in transmission, uh, which could be misunderstood due to technical difficulties. However, I want to was up here. Like, however, I want to assure all of our listeners that just as soon as we can... He's dead. Sam! Where's the fellow that was up here? I don't know! No! 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 It's all right! No! No! You're just wasting your time. Shannon is doing great without Tommy or you. I know that. Thank you. I also know that she's an artist, and artists either grow creatively or die. Shannon's told me how Tommy turns her on musically. And Jeremy, I swear to you, JNT Records will promote her like she's never been promoted before. Jessica, I admit it. Your company can triple Shannon's sales. So what's the problem then? Oh, only one. What you and your friends will do to make those sales triple. Oh, come on, Jeremy. What's the difference? The money will pour in. That's all that counts. <laughs> you know, Jessica, I know you find this a little hard to understand, but there are some things in this world more important than counting money. Like what? You'll excuse me, won't you? Jessica, believe me, I know that tone of voice. Nothing's gonna change his mind. Never can tell.
sky. It's bad. Not to us. I came in here. She was screaming her head off. He was dead. I tell you, I didn't see anybody else. He's gone. Where could he be? Accident. Yeah, like Parker's OD. Why'd they take him clear over to the river from the radio station? Oh, it makes the uh, incidents look unrelated. So we're back to square one. I didn't know he'd left. It was Bush League play. Why do you say that? I had Parker in my pocket. So did a Fed. Fed? Yes. He was holding hands with a Fed. Did Parker tell him anything? Well, if he did, it won't make any difference. I see. I see. So we can just no. go on. No, we can't go on. There's always my people. Are they uh... angry? Uh, Mrs. Wright, they have an uncanny way of never showing their emotions, but a very potent way of getting their message across. They want money, and a lot of it, and soon. I, I could run out some more records. Oh, Mrs. Wright, we've inundated our pirate market with your records. We want something new, something big, like Shannon Forbes. I've got a chance at her now. Oh, well, I hope so. But you better make that a sure thing, because this is a very urgent matter. New Mexico. Now, you said on the telephone that you had some information on the music business. Yes, it's about a record company called J&T Records. Have you heard of them? What can you tell me? The company is backed by racketeers. They're involved in all kinds of corruption, payola piracy. You know this for a fact? My manager told me. I talk to him? What are his chances? Bad. You think that one of them did this time, huh? Oh, I know they did it. They wanted Jeremy to sign me with their record company, and he didn't want to have anything to do with them. I'll do anything I can to help. 
Well, I gotta warn you, this could be dangerous. I realize that. Might even interrupt your career. As far as I'm concerned, my career can go right down the drain. I want them to pay for this. You know the two people that have already tried to help are dead. Marshall, if you're trying to scare me, it isn't going to work. Jeremy found me and backed me with his own money, and now he's dying because he was trying to protect me. Now, if you can't help me, then maybe you can turn me on to somebody who can. Miss Forbes, I can certainly understand how you feel, but unfortunately, everything you've told me is without substantiation. Well, it's the truth. The law requires hard proof. Well, we've gone around on that, Chief, and I think that we've come up with a way to get some. Uh huh. Now, if you give a horse everything that it wants, I mean, water, oats, grain, the whole kit and caboodle, there's no problem of leading that horse where you want it, right? Well, if we give J&T Records what they want, a top singing star, Shannon Forbes here, let them make a new hit record, but along with all that comes a crooked manager, a fella after their own heart. You know what I mean? You, uh, be willing to go along with this? Oh, yes. Yeah. Could be dangerous. Probably be better if we used a police officer. Uh, tell me, generally speaking, what, uh, what are managers like? Well, most of them are kind of funky. Funky? You know. Oh, you mean the opposite of me. Suit, tie, short hair, language you can understand? Well, most of them act the way they want to. You know, they go their own route, and they don't really care what anyone else says. If they want to wear a suit and tie, that's OK. If they want to wear jeans, that's all right, too. You know, they do their own thing. You know what I mean? Yeah, of course he knows what you mean. Now, Chief, look, I got this thing all figured out. I've already figured what you figured, McLeod, and I figure you can forget now, it. Now, wait a minute, Chief. Now, just hold on a second. Look, the one thing that Shannon's new manager cannot be suspected of is being a New York cop. Right? Well, who you got to fill that bill but me? Just name one. Tell me. Who you got? Nobody. You said yourself that I'm funky. How would you ever be able to learn enough about country music to pass? To pass? Well, you got to be kidding. I didn't just fall off the turnip truck when it comes to country music. My daddy was the best fiddler in Taos County. All I need to do is get with those managers for a little while. I'll pick up everything I need to know in no time at all. Well, that shouldn't be too difficult. New York must be full of those people. Not anymore. No, where? Nashville. Tennessee? Yeah, now, Shannon's going to appear down there. All I've got to do is just mingle with him, just mosey around. I'll just sop it all up. McLeod? Yeah. With what you're going to cost this department. Right. If you come back anything less than letter perfect, yeah. I'll make the city of New York so hot for you uh -huh. that you will wish you were barefoot in Death Valley. In August. You're not going to regret it. Come on, Shannon. we got some things to do. And I'd tell you what I'd really do if it wasn't in such a good mood. Appreciate your compliments, Chief. Let's go. And now, direct from the music capital of the world, Nashville, Tennessee, we proudly present a fellow who's been spreading joy and love all over the world. Let's welcome Charlie Ho. There you go, looking like sunlight on a laughing summer day. There you go, saying my name so soft, it takes my breath away. There you go, with that smile of yours, that sets the world aglow, casting spells, ringing bells. There you go, there you go. Yeah. 
walking like country while your eyes are touching mine. Arnie Hooten here. What's going on there, Arnie? Hey, Chief. Nice to hear from you. Thanks. When will you be ready to make your move? Oh, pretty soon now. You got nothing to worry about. Worry? The city of New York has cut back on every single item in its budget except McLeod. I want you to wrap this up fast. I'll give it my best shot. Oh, uh, what about Shannon? Is she still cooperating? Oh, yeah, 100%. You know, she's on the phone about Darnell just every chance that she has. Poor little thing, she feels like that she's responsible for him. Why? It wasn't her fault. Well, that's what I keep telling her, but... Boy, I tell you, she's really torn up about it. The last call to the hospital wasn't too encouraging, and it took her an hour before she could stop crying. But she's helping me out, giving me pointers right along. Uh, Chief, I gotta run. Now hear me, McLeod. I want you to get this thing over. I appreciate your concern. Appreciates my concern. I'd like to dedicate this next number to a man who I love very much, Jeremy Darnell. She liked anything that caught her eye Like big diamond rings and shiny limousines Cause the devil never gave her a chance to be a child She outgrew brass buckles on shoes By twelve she was filling out her jeans With a mind young and wild And a body that the devil styled She could make a man do anything She just had to make her dreams come true. Now on every movie screen, you can see this country queen. She's the centerfold of Playboy magazine. She outgrew grass buckles on her shoes. By 12, she was filling out her jeans. With a mind young and wild, and a body that the devil styled. She could make a man do anything. Don't try to change the name of the game so fast. Fast, slow, it's all the same difference. You know, slavery went out with the Civil War. Now, we signed for three years. That's tough. All right, but then the advance drops. No, -uh. no, no. No, that stays right where it is, and that's payable on sign. No way. On delivery. Half and half. Sold. But if we don't recoup all the advance, then you've got to pay back the balance. It's an advance. It's not a loan, it's an advance. Now, if you don't have faith in her earning power to get your money back, then you ought not be in a deal to begin with. Shannon, tell him what he's doing. He does what he wants. I just do what he tells me. All right, all right, so Now for the final thing. Shannon picks the songs, but we keep final OK, right? Sounds fair. It is. Are you kidding? Nobody's going to censor my songs. You blew it. How? I thought I was sailing right along. No record company retains creative control. Not over its top artists, anyway. Don't feel bad. Anybody can make a mistake. Okay, let's let's take it from the top. Shannon, I love Jeremy as much as you do, but we've been at this session two days. I want a sliding royalty scale topping off at 15%. Oh, no. The flag is
is up. There we go. Marks for second, breaking on top. American made away. Second, many problems is third. Corona Ford, Sue Boyer, Prince of Air, and uh, Rough Rider. Down the back stretch. Box the second. Opens up by a length and a half. American made second and neck. Many problems. Third, three quarters. Okay, you Sue see. Boyer on the outside. Huh. Oh, you look familiar. Haven't we met somewhere? Uh, Arnie Hooten's the name. Does that mean anything to you? Arnie Hooten. Aren't you Shannon Forbes' new manager? Yeah. Well, what do you know? I'm Jessica Wright, JNT Records. Quite a coincidence, isn't it? Uh, just about as much as a fox showing up at a rabbit hole. <laughs> Which horse you are? I don't like to lose. Then win. Hmm? What's that for? Let's just call it a down payment. On what? A million dollars. Drop rider around Custer. And Sue Warrior on the rail in front of three quarters of the length. Prince of Air second. The rest far back. And Sue Warrior. Sue Warrior number five wins in three quarters. I can come back later if I'm disturbing you. I'm just writing a song for Jeremy. He was a very special, warm and gentle person who put music in the world and spoke in rhyme. And it hurts me that I never All it would have taken was some time. It's beautiful. He's beautiful. Anything new? Fish will bite. We got good bait. How much longer do you think it'll take? Till she gets hungry enough not to notice the hook. That's why I love small towns. <laughs> oh, excuse me, I'm being rude. Mr. Hooten, I'd like you to meet Kathy Jones. My pleasure, Miss Jones. Thanks. Well, I'd like to take you up on your offer, but I got a little business to handle. Mr. Hooten, I have a lot of business for us to handle. Huh. Well, a small town like this, we'll probably run into each other from time to time. I'm throwing a little party tonight, exclusive. Just a few hundred of my most intimate friends. I'd like you and Shannon to make it. <laughs> yeah, well, uh, I'll see what I can do. Please. You know, I got a better idea. Why don't I drop by a little bit early if we can look over your plan? You like it? You're right. I do. I like it. Three gold albums this year. Not bad, huh? No, it's not bad at all. Almost as many as Shannon had all by herself. Oh, Mrs. Wright, there's a phone for you in the office. Oh, thank you. Please make yourself at home. I'll be right back.
Just from the office. The party's starting to swing. Really? Yeah, maybe we ought to give it a whirl. Mr. Hooten, tell me, what's it gonna take? What's it gonna take? To please you. <laughs> now, why'd you ask that? Just a good Samaritan. Can't stop trying to make people happy. <laughs> and just tell me what it is. You know I'm going to sign Shannon sooner or later. Well, there she is. Why don't you ask her now? She wouldn't sign a letter home without you telling her to. <laughs> Hi. Don't I know you? Another try? No, but it's not a bad idea from what I hear. You look just like somebody I used to know. Oh, well, a couple of drinks for all friends, right? <laughs> <laughs> Shannon! Sing us a song. I'd rather not. It's not any way to act. Here you are among friends here. You're playing hard to get. I don't like to sing at parties. Well, that's because you haven't been asked by the right party. <laughs> <laughs> Tommy wants to help her out. Sing your new one, Shannon. Would you like to hear Shannon sing a new song? <laughs> Just your close friends, or am I invited too? So 
for my friends, and you are definitely not invited. Oh! Tina, what is the matter with you? With me? And, and you don't know? Oh, oh, sweet and loyal Shannon. Oh, Jeremy, I would never have another Young manager. Lady, you never. Get out of here before you... you are no better than the rest of them! You are no better than the rest of them! I got a contact! I've got to tell her. Something she could be sorry for. Oh, you know, I've got to tell her about it. Shannon, you can't. Shannon, he is dead. Oh, Tina. <laughs> what was that all about? Got me. Looks like they got it all passed up now. Was she upset because you're handling Shannon? <laughs> no, don't worry about a thing. You know, Shannon wouldn't tie her shoes without me showing her where the laces are. Okay, you keep your hands just where they are. Why bother me if he's a thief? Call the police. Covers? He was after the covers. The covers of the new album. Do you know who he is? No, I haven't the slightest idea. I never saw him before in my life. Hold him there. Find out anything? Nothing. He was out after those covers. We can do this the hard way or the easy way. Now, who do you work for? I'm self-employed. All pirates need a captain. Who's yours? <laughs> I told you I run my own ship. You're being a bad, bad boy. Now, my men like tough guys. They can use the exercise. keep my playing hero. Man can't go against his nature. That's good. Real good. Well, I wish I can talk like that. All I can do is... Unit 11. Do you read? Read it, Chief. Anything? Not a sound. Do you think we better go in? No, not yet. Out. What's Joe trying to do? His job. Well? Nothing yet. Set up. Come on, set up. You've had most of the night. It's going to happen in the next 10 minutes. What? You talk now, or so help me, you'll never talk again. Now, who are you working for? What happens to me? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. You're unimportant. All I want is your boss. Now, what's his name? Who? Hooten. He said he's been working for Arnie Hooten. You sure? I wouldn't call then. Now, you take care of Hooten. Right away. Wobbly, but all right. Uh, 
leave some distance behind, but stick. 10-4. Must have broke. I just hope they bought his story. Clifford here. Is Marshall McLeod in? For you, Shannon Forbes. Well, what's up? Jessica Wright called. She wants to see you right away. At her office. Do you know what it's about? You remember that hook? Well, I think she just swallowed it right up to the pole. I told you it would happen, and it did. I found that common ground I was looking for. What's that? Greed. Well, that's a big stomping ground. That could take in a lot of people. Maybe, but I'm only interested in you. Now, what are you talking about? Piracy. Oh, you mean like Captain Kidd? I mean like Arnie Hooten. You know, I get the distinct impression that you're trying to tell me something. I already have. Can you clear it up some? A lot. Still haven't told me nothing. He has everything. Is that right, Frankie? I couldn't help it, honey. No, I guess not. Man's a hyena, he's just got a stink. You gentlemen can go. What do we tell Mr. Gregory? That everything's fine, just fine. So what are you going to do, turn me in? No. No, I'm not. I have something better in mind. Shannon, now that I know what you want. Well, how do I get it? When our company records, so you can share in a few extras we run. Oh, one over and one under, is that it? <laughs> you know, her next album's got to sell into the millions again. So you pirate a mess of them along with the regular sales, hmm? Mm-hmm. Although I still can't understand why you need piracy. Well, you should. Why? <laughs> well, I've never seen two hawks with different feathers. <laughs> oh, Arnie. Shannon Forbes, MV7, take 13. Was a very special, warm and gentle person who put music in the world and spoke in rhyme. And it hurts me that I never really knew him, cause all it would have taken was some time. You know, we all. Too fast or much too slow. Mm -hmm.
Harris at stakeout one. It's a clear setup. Go. Go to position two. I'm on my way. Broadhurst, stakeout two is perfect, Chief. All right. Uh, the teams go round the clock once Shannon Forbes' recording session is over. That fast? Fast? <laughs> They'll be pressing records before she finishes the last note. How's it going? Well, it's got to be her biggest yet. It's been a long road. Well? Oh, I'd say uh, three or four million. Run it. When do I get my ship? Where do you want it? Waco, Texas. That anywhere near Dallas? Large straddle jump. Good. I can break off some from another shipment late next Monday. Is Shannon going to join us for a little celebration? Yeah, I'm going to pick her up right now. Fine. I'll meet you two at the cafe in a few minutes. Come on, I'll give you a lift. No, no, no. It's not oh, necessary. Oh, silly no. boy. His car's right out front. Why uh, take a cab? Yeah, come on. Hi! Hey, how are you? Mistaken. You were only there that one night, the night he OD'd. No, he came in and he talked to me. When did he get there? With the police? Well, one thing's for sure that shipment's going through on Saturday. Now, people have promised, the money's been paid, and there's no turning back. Won't that be dangerous now? Did you tell him anything about the pirate shipment? I had to. Oh, Jessica. I bet the entire police force should know. I just told him Tommy's been with him ever since. All right. Just have to make sure that he doesn't tell anybody else. You keep him out of things for a while. I vote we make it permanent. Kill him? After the way he took me, I... Jessica! Now, just wait one minute. Now, what do you plan to do? Take on the entire police force? Now, if Hooten's a cop, his pal's a cop. And that means a whole lot of cops know about this. But if they don't know about the shipment, there's not a thing they can do to us. And after Saturday, we're in the clear. And they can ram their suspicions. All right, neutralize them. Don't worry, I'll take care of it. Oh, one other thing, Jessica, please. Don't get caught up in that woman scorn bit. Emotion is very bad for business. I'm past that. Come on, cheer up. It's supposed to be a celebration. My best song for J&T Records? It's not for J&T, it's for Jeremy. Are we making any headway with this? Oh, the cork's beginning to bob. They're cutting me in on the pirate shipment of your new record. That's terrific. I got this operation nailed. Got all the evidence I need. Next step is to call Chief Clifford. Of course, the problem has been Tommy. He's been dogging me ever since we left Jessica. Just hope this party doesn't last too long so we can get at it. But why in public? They can never prove it was us. But what's the point? We can't go on delivering any of the pirates now. Tommy, what we want doesn't mean a damn. And don't worry, Gregory's gonna change the way it happens this time. Jessica, please, this is crazy. Remember what happened to Darnell? I remember. And I hope we get the same results this time. Just you stick with Hooten or whatever his name is until I get there.
I just couldn't wait. I had to seal it, if only with a drink. To a great career, Shannon Forbes, who ain't seen nothing yet. Thank you. Hey, what's the matter, Tommy? Uh, uh nothing, nothing. <laughs> Everything's whirling around, you know, plans, ideas, it's gonna be dynamite. Hope it doesn't have a wet fuse. <laughs> well, what have we here, fans? Go on, kids, go and get an autograph while you can. to a long and fruitful relationship. Three out of the top four on the charts by the end of the year. I don't like your pessimism. Why not four out of four? Tastes better in a glass. <laughs> Are you all right? Yeah, yeah, I'm all right. It's, it's um... <laughs> you know that. <laughs> that reminds me of when I was just. <laughs> I was just a little boy. <laughs> He's tripping out. <laughs> what are you talking about? He's stoned. <laughs> Get your hands off of me! Get it off! Get it! Are you on something? Yeah, I'm all right. Boy, I feel weird. Of himself. Where are you? Top of the Anderson building. Hurry! Marshall! Why don't you give me your hand? Marshall, why don't you come over here and we can talk about it? since I've been here. It's good to be back home again. You know, at sunset, this desert will be all different kinds of colors. It's really nice when the sun burns it hot.
No, it was the same thing Jeremy had. That's possible. How long does something like this last? That's very hard to predict. It could be a couple of days, or a week, or it could be much longer. Like Jeremy. <laughs> This is Clifford. You recognize me at all? You've really been on a tough one, McLeod. Might have been the best thing for him. Maybe, but not for me. He knows some information I have to get. Now tell me, Doctor, isn't there some something you can give him to counteract the drug, bring him around faster? Yes, but it could be dangerous. Well, what do you call what he's on? It's already killed a man. I know that. It's hard to say in some cases what's worse, the disease or the cure. You mean the cure could kill him? Yes, possibly. Well, the drug he's on could kill him, too. Well, again, possibly. Well, which do you think is the way to go? I honestly don't know. No one can with certainty. Give him the antidote. X53 picked up the tail. Moving south on Mill. Out. 10 4. How much is 25 times 14? 350. Yeah? How about 350 times 15? 5,250. No kidding. 
How about 5,250 times 187? I only made Sergeant, not Einstein. What are you trying for? I'm trying to figure out how many records that trailer holds, and then I'd like to know the value of the shipment. I love puzzles like that. No wonder you're so popular on stakeouts. Thanks. McLeod. McLeod. You hear me? <laughs> Shannon said the pirate shipment was going out. Now, do you know when? What happened? You were given some form of psychotomimetic. It's a hallucinogen, a mind-altering drug. Shannon says she thinks that Jessica Ryder, Tommy, slipped the stuff into your champagne. There wasn't anybody else there. What time is it? Eight o'clock. Eight when? Saturday morning. Saturday? Because it's a whole night. Right. Now, what about that pirate shipment? Yeah. Yeah, pirate shipment. Uh, Jessica said they were going to deliver my records to Waco, Texas, Monday. Monday. A truck would never make it by then. What about a plane? Oh, it wouldn't take that much time. Seems like a train would get there just about then. Central switchboard. Patch me through to Sergeant Broadhurst. Roger. Broadhurst? Yeah, Chief. Any truck headed for the freight yards, I want to know. Right. I don't think you should leave the hospital this soon, Marshal. Best way to recuperate is visit old friends. Room 184, Chief Clifford. What? Yeah, we followed it here. It looked all right, but after when we checked the order out with the company, they said the shipment wasn't due until next week. No, it was ripped off. This has got to be the hot one. Patch me through to Central. Central switchboard. This is Chief Clifford. I want an APB, all units. Point in staying here. We're staying until the last crate is stowed and the boxcar door is sealed and closed. I don't want any of Gregory's friends claiming a short count. That's right. And I want choppers covering every train siding on the Hudson River. Two, three, Charlie, ten. Spotted semi. Location Pier One Five. West end of Twenty Second. Activity over. Chief Clifford, all units. Repeat, all units. Coverage of train siding, Pier 15, foot of 22nd Street. Code 2. Brothers! If 
There's a back way out of here. Cover it. Let's go! It's not gonna save you. You wanna die or go to jail? Someone I should 